What's up guys, Eric742 over there, SRC channel. I just wanted to show you my general settings on my DX7S Spectrum. Um, same would go probably for DX8 and maybe possibly a DX6i. Just how to program your uh, quadcopter with a NASA MV2. And be sure to watch the other part, part 2, when I put it up of my settings on the actual assistant software, NASA assistant software, so you can really have a good idea actually what's going on. This is just the remote aspect of it. Um, I set my timer for five minutes, whatever, it's not important. Okay, go to servo setup. For travel, everyone's might vary a little bit, but I had to put 104% on both sides just to get the lowest throttle level. Uh, 104 on the bottom end right there was my low number. Sorry, my camera got out of focus there. Um, all others, aileron, elevator, 100%, 100%, rudder, 100%, gear, 100%, and when we get to auxiliary 2, it changes, because this is for my custom mix, and yours might be a little bit different, but my custom mix will allow you to use two different switches, um, one for, uh, GPS mode and attitude mode, and then the other one, it, it mixes a, a fail-safe switch, which I use my second switch for gear switch to mix into auxiliary 2 to allow you to return to home whichever position you're in whether you're in GPS or attitude mode so that's the only one that is different on the travels everything else is 100% um, a throttle 104, 104 yours again will vary probably sub trims you shouldn't have any um, should be zero across the board. The NASA MV2 will zero them out, so there's no sense in sub trimming anything. Uh, for reverses, okay, let's go to the beginning here. Throttle normal, aileron reversed, elevator normal, rudder reversed, gear reversed, auxiliary one reversed, aux two reversed. And you'll see why I did that. Um, no. Once uh, you see the second part of the video with the um, on the assistant software, get out of this DR and Expo. Keep in mind, um, keep everything at dual rate one hundred percent and Expo at zero while you're calibrating your NASA MV two flight controller on your assistant software. But for my purposes, after it's all said and done, you can go ahead and change, uh, or I like to use this. It, this is not like definitive aileron and elevator, I believe. I like to use Expo 50%. Yep. Dual rate's 100. Um, and rudder, I like to use 30% Expo or 30 on the Spectrum. Uh, no differential throttle cut. I don't mess with that. Uh, no flap system. Mixing, I'll show you my custom mix in order to get, what you're doing really is, I use, for my mix, if you want to use this mix, I use this switch here, which is auxiliary 2, and this is what I use for gear, I, I, I set this one up for auxiliary 2, so basically, when I flip this forward, I'm in GPS mode, when it's not forward, it's in attitude mode, and when I flip this forward, it will, no matter which position this one's in, it's going to go to fail safe. And I'll show you that whole thing in part two of the video when I do the assistant software setup. But I'll go ahead and show you the mix on here so you can get it programmed in and see if it works for you. I got to mix one. All right, you mix gear on the first one here with auxiliary two. Rate zero percent. Um, the second number here, negative 37, and then offset 27%, trim inhibited, switch on. And that's about it for that. And when you go to test it in your system software, you'll see if it works for you. Um, timer, I just, you know, typical DX7S or Spectrum stuff. Mode countdown, time, I put five minutes just so I have a beeping warning so I can start coming back home if I'm a really long ways out or anything. Um... Tone vibration, I just like that. Throttle out, 25%, uh, and it starts ticking once the throttle is above 25%. That's about it. So, monitor, obviously. All right, here's, uh, I'm going to flip on my GPS mode, which I just showed you a second ago. You can see the auxiliary 2 is on that switch there. 
and it goes to 90%, which I just showed you the endpoints. And then when I flip gear, that changes the position of my auxiliary too, which is going to make it go into fail safe. And you'll totally understand that once you see my part two of the video when I go into the uh, showing you how to set up the fail safes and stuff on the assistant software. But other than that, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Of course, before you program anything, go into, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, you can see the airplane there. Program it as um, airplane mode and the very first selection. So when you first set up your model, airplane mode and the first one, that's it. Other than that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part two when I go to the computer and show you the whole thing on the assistant software and you can correlate it with this and you can set it up exactly the same way so i appreciate everything guys and take care